Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Purud Dhawan and today I am going to discuss in detail why the kidney failure patients feel extreme cold in winters and what are the different treatment approaches through which the patient gets the relief from this cold. Kidney failure patients usually find winter season very much challenging. Even a little cold weather make it very difficult to survive for the kidney failure patient. But what's the reason behind this? Let's discuss about this in detail. To begin with, let's understand the various reasons which make a kidney failure patient feel extreme cold. First, central circulation in which the blood gets supplied to the central vitro organ like heart, lungs, kidney. Second is peripheral circulation through which the blood gets circulated to the peripheral body organs like your ear, hands, leg and so on. The kidney failure patient has blood in low amount. Let's say 7 gram or 8 gram. Now this whole amount of blood has to be distributed in the complete body. Now between the central and peripheral circulation, the central one is more important as it has the all vital organ in its pathway. So the blood, the first get distributed to the central organs. As a result, the peripheral organs get supplied by low amount of warm blood. This causes the shrinkage of muscles and the hands and leg of the patient become very much cold. Now the second reason behind this issue is the low level of vitamin D in kidney failure patient. Due to several underlying factors, vitamin D gets low in kidney failure patient, which causes a decrease in the cold tolerance power of the body. Now there are certain treatment approaches you can go for to fight all these reasons of the extreme cold, which I told you just now. Let's discuss them in detail. First, try to boost up your hemoglobin level. Certain essential nutrition including folic acid, vitamin B12, iron, protein and most importantly the erythropoietin constitute the hemoglobin. Erythropoietin is a hormone responsible for the blood production and is produced by the kidneys. But in a kidney failure patient, the hormone gets released in a low amount. So just consuming the healthy food won't work you will have to act smartly and talk to your doctor to ensure an efficient production of hemoglobin in the body. The second thing to focus on is the vitamin D level in your body. Generally, vitamin D is obtained from the sunlight and different food sources in its inactive form, which is also known as cholecalciferol. And then the kidney converts in the active form known as calcitrol. But in a kidney patient, the inactive form of vitamin D does not get converted into the active form due to the impaired kidneys. So to compensate the low amount of vitamin D, the kidney patient can go for vitamin D supplementation direct in its active form and that too in a daily basis. The increased vitamin D level increases the warmth in the body and also increases the cold tolerance capacity of the kidney failure patient. Adding to the, all this, I would like to give you one more advice. Whenever you go outside, wear a padded jacket. The padded jacket is specially designed to provide you double protection from the extreme cold outside and keep your body warm. You can also try the heating pads available in the market to get the instant relief from the extreme cold. So along with the boosting up the hemoglobin and vitamin D levels, take a special care of a dressing also. You can try all this method to get relief from the extreme cold in the winters. Now I would like to tell you something very important about your creatinine and urea levels in the winters. In winter, as you shiver, your muscles contract and this lead to an increase in the creatinine level. But you don't have to worry for this as these increased levels are not result of your impaired kidneys. But you have to keep a check on your urea level. The urea level should not rise. It should either remain stable or decreased, but should not increase. I hope you have understood the basic details about why the kidney failure patient feel cold in the winter and how can this can be managed. With this, I would like to take your leave now. If you have any doubt or query, feel free to share in the comment section. See you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye and Namaste.